We actually, we didn't like each other at first. Really? Yeah. I used to be trying to holler at his girlfriend and tell her. I got my first kiss at Park Ridge, the last day of school from a chick named Chelsea. I started singing as a joke, but I was acting like Fiddle Wop. You said you read all your DMs. What are some of the craziest DMs you've gotten? Hey, this is your boy Fredo Bang, beat me, the M1 Rock Red, and I'm the reason why your baby dad is scared. And this is Hip Hop DX, the Thought Box. Oh, college. Um, what did you uh, What did you study when you were there? I know you you dropped out after a short period. Of time. Engin yeah, engineer. Is that something you always wanted to do? Oh, uh, nah. It was something that I heard made a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> did you go to any of the classes? Yeah, I went to every class. I uh, I would I never failed. I just dropped out because I wanted to make some money. Mm. What were some of the classes you were taking? Um, chemistry. Um, English, it was basics. What, what school were you at? Southern University. I had a, I had a scholarship to uh, Texas a and for a band, but I didn't take it. I was good. Yeah? Yeah, I had like $9,000 scholarship. Wow. What instrument were you playing? Um, uh, French horn, marching in a uh, concert. Do you ever uh, incorporate that into your music? Or were you in the studio, you ever pull out the horn? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I ain't play, I ain't play this since like 2014. Uh, and then you said you wanted to go back uh, to college. Uh, would you want to study the same thing, engineering? Nah, I'd probably go with like business or something like that. Love and hip hop. So I, I saw an interview where you said uh, that that meant something to you specific in uh, in jail. Yeah, it gave me something to jack off to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about, that's about it. <laughs> Have you ran into any of the people on the show in real life and been like, you know? Oh, uh, I've just seen a couple of them. I I don't think I ever told them about her. No, nah. I'll keep I'll keep it to myself. Oh, okay, Scottsdale Magnet High School. Okay. So I saw you, uh, you said you are sponsoring the baseball team? Yeah, I sponsored the baseball team over last year, I think. How did that happen? Um, they, they baseball coach, last year was my old coach. And he, he, had, he had reached out to me, and I sent it over. Does that feel cool to be able to like, give Yeah, it? yeah, shit, sure, yeah, sure, sure. I fuck with it, I fuck with it. Were you uh, a good baseball player? Were you a star? I definitely was nice. Yeah. <laughs> what was the best play, best play you ever had? Oh, um, best play I ever had, I think it was uh, right before playoffs, I think it was against West Feliciana, away game, I was playing in the outfield, um, they hit the ball, and it was about to drop right by the by the infield, I ran off, and I dove and kind of rolled a little bit, had, you know what I'm saying, yeah. I, I did what I they threw my hat off and all that <laughs> shit there. Yeah. <laughs> Birthday cake. I remember you uh, said in, in an interview that when you were younger, all of your family had basically had the same month birthday March. Yeah. So you'd all you'd share a cake. At the yeah. Same time. Um, like me and like my me, my brother, and my sister. All of our birthdays was in March, so we all have our birthdays the same day. Do you get to celebrate separately now that you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't do this for a long time. I turned like 24 this month. What day? 29. What are you doing to celebrate? Um, yeah, I'm tall. Okay. <laughs> Working. What's, what's something like the best thing that you've been able to give back to a family member now that you have? Um, mm. that needs to do it? I think I want my mom a condo. How'd that feel? I felt great. <laughs> I love my mama. Who did it? Oh, that's uh, the mayor. Yeah. Okay, okay. I okay. thought I with the mayor. He he was one of the earliest people to reach out to you, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, as soon as I had came home, I think I had went live, and he had commented on my live, got his number. And you didn't even know how big he was at the time, right? I know I did. I didn't. Then he he had just hit me up with like, man, I've been listening to you and G right before I blew, and I'm like, that shit, that shit meant something to me, cause like, 
don't know, a lot of people won't, won't tell you something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's, and I think we're at a time where you have to give your flowers to people um, right. while they're here. You, you never know yeah. tomorrow is a promise. Yeah. I think. That's something I respect from, you know what I'm saying? You also said you read, because you said you reached out through DMs after, and you said you read all your DMs. What are some of the craziest DMs you've gotten that... Oh, I had a chick send me a, a video of a dude face fucking her. I don't know why. Was there any context? Like, did it? Nah, it was action? just. It was like, just, you could do this to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was just the video. And... Do you reply to that? You... Yeah, I told her since I'm up. Oh, T. I fuck with T. That's my big brother. What's some of the best? You said you were in like investment meetings with him. He on um, my first time meeting him. I took like. It was a, a session him and Miller had, and he had pulled me to the side, and we were just talking about life and like, you know what I'm saying? Cause both of us done did time and shit like they just, he like, like one, I think one question he asked you was like, man, like how this, how, what does she mean to you? Like shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Nobody had ever asked me nothing like that. And in the midst of that, he had a business meeting. Somebody kind of, like came up to me like about vesting and something, and he just let me sit in on it and listen, you know what I'm saying? When, when he asked you that, what was your answer? What, is, what does this all mean to you? Uh, I, uh, it's just a way out, you know? It's a way to stay out the streets and feed my family. Mm -hmm. I don't really know, you know? Now that you're in position, um, have you reached out to anyone in a similar fashion, or is there anyone you're looking at, like a younger artist, who you maybe want to reach out and give advice to? Yeah, I got um, an artist I've been working with, Lee Yosha. Like, I've um, been putting him in a position like to where he put his music out and he actually benefiting from it. He not just putting it out there, you know what I'm saying? He getting paid for it, you know? When you were first putting out music, uh, what were some of like the earliest songs you put out that no one was seeing? Like, do you remember the first song you put online? The first song I ever did, it was me, Trey, Joe Scott, or Lester. They call him Joe Scott now, he go by Joe Scott. Oh, um, and, um, and, and Contrail, it's, it's, it's a dude named Contrail. Um, the Trail Fisher. No, La Trail, not King Trail, La Trail Fisher. Um, it's a song called Fly or something like that. Yeah. Never device. I think I came out of it like, bitch, I'm hot like ice hot. So, 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 like that. that. <laughs> it, was a, it was all corny and shit. So, that was a hit though. <laughs> iPhone 6? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm booming off this iPhone 6. So, uh, like one of my biggest songs before too. You said you still have, you had the same number since fourth grade. You still have that same number? I just, I, I just, only reason I just got rid of it because my partner I let him use the phone and he dropped it in water and some shit like that. And it had everything in it that I needed so I couldn't get it no more. So now, did you lose like some big contacts or some people you had contacts from like fifth grade that now? Yeah, definitely. How are, you, how are you gonna, are you gonna put out a PSA? I don't, I don't, need, to, <laughs> I don't need to talk to her. Oh, it's Bay of High. That's Park Ridge. Oh, this Park Ridge? Yeah. Oh yeah, I went to Park Ridge, Park Ridge Elementary. What are you, what are your earliest memories from that? I got my first kiss at Park Ridge, the last day of school from a chick named Chelsea. How did that chick. go down? Um, it was the last day of school and everybody just running around kissing each other. I swear to God, everybody just running around kissing each other. And so, man, we had gave each other a hug, and I just kissed them. And after that, did you guys end up dating that summer? Oh, uh, we, we used to be talking on the phone, but I think she was old. And now she lost your number, so. Yeah, I don't, I, <laughs> I haven't seen her since, like, 2000 and, um, like, 2010. No, no, 2008, something like that. She's coming to your shows? Nah, I don't know where she at. She Did you not. ever have anybody like back in back in the day like come to one of your shows now and be like, yo, remember me from I don't know, high school or some shit? Um, not my shows. I done had somebody like I had this chick that used to be my like my best friend that went to another school. Mm -hmm. You know how you used to have like random yeah, best yeah. friends, y'all don't know each other. I used to have a plan with a pussy on the phone and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and we had nicknames for each other. So she had wrote me, but she looked different now. And I shit like this whoop the whoop. I'm like, who? And she told me her nickname, Mei Mei. I'm like, oh, that's you. And she like, she stripped and she got OnlyFans page. Oh, uh, uh, 
me and Trey, we, I think we were going on a field trip that day. Really? Yeah, that was um, 11th grade. Probably 11th grade, I think. What was the field trip to? Uh, I really can't remember. That was a long time ago. That was my first best friend, though. What was your What was your guys' relationship like back in the day? Like, how did it How did it start? Um, uh, we actually we didn't like each other at first. Really? Yeah, I used to be trying to holler at his girlfriend Terika. Well, I tell you, he had a chick named Terika he used to go with, and so he's uh, I used to be trying to go with my mom. She was like, so she was like, ask my boyfriend, can you have my number? I was like, shit, bet. So she she had him call me. I was like, yeah, I want her number. <laughs> it was some shit like that. <laughs> but then like. When, um, when we got to high school, like we just we ended up taking a couple of classes together, and we just started talking, and you know, we connected. Oh, uh, Gates, big channel. Yeah. Well, how did how did? Cause he was, he was also uh, pretty early on somebody who reached out and worked yeah. with you. How did that whole um, process happen? Um, uh, well, for, for one, you know, he uh. A native of South Baton Rouge, um, and he always had good ties with Boulevard Mill, like one of our big brothers in TBG. And so, like Boulevard Mill was on the iPhone six, and that, that, that brought the connection together. That he shot out iPhone six out first, and that helped pop it. And like that's so they gave a, light, a, a really big light on this. You know what I'm saying? What does he mean to the city? Oh, uh, I feel like he a really innovative. He really. He really like single handedly made everybody comfortable in Baton Rouge to sing, try to sing. Really? Yeah. Before it wasn't cool? Nah. Ain't nobody, if you ain't rapping about killing or popping pills, mm -hmm. ain't nobody want to really listen when, to you. When you first started singing, were you, were you nervous? Like, to. Um, I started singing as a joke. I had a song called I Think I Love Pussy. <laughs> but I was acting like Fiddy Wop. Cause I, I, I think. They had a couple of females in the studio and I just walked in and had to be playing. And I was like, I love pussy, I love pussy, yeah. And they were like, man, you gotta go do that right now. So I did it as a joke, but they ended up liking it and shit. And the name G. Legend. I'm trying what to was look. the first song you guys worked on together? Diving in and shit. A little fight song. And it came, did it come about like? I had already made a song. And I was telling him, like, I was like, I got a perfect song for you, you know what I'm saying? And uh, picked him up, went to the studio, he knocked it out, and ever since then we just kept working on music together, you know what I'm saying? Do you still have any unreleased songs that you have? Yeah, I got a couple. Are you planning on putting them out? I plan on putting on my um, my album in the name of G, probably sometime this year. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You never know. We'll look for it. Might pop out on me. Garbage. Really? Garbage. Tell me more. Why, why do you think it's garbage? I don't know who, what disrespect, disrespectful motherfucker ever put this sandwich against the Chick-fil-A sandwich, spicy sandwich. This is basically just a big ass chicken tender with no taste. But Chick-fil-A, the sauce is inside of the batter, inside of the meat. Mm. So Chick-fil-A is your top chicken, chicken sandwich, sandwich again? Yes, yes. Restaurant wise, they need to take this shit off of the menu and need to go back to the loaded chicken wraps. Most hated, pressure, beautiful music, beautiful, beautiful. Hey, this your boy Fred O'Bain, V Me's the M on Rock Red, and I'm the reason why you baby that skin. Thank you for checking out Hip Hop DX with me on my Thought Box.